world is your girl miss ty.com i'm checking in with you from the middle of the map here in kansas um i'm going to go ahead and participate in the the um questions game that enables um people um that actually care about my opinions or my mind that want to know certain things about me i give them the chance to answer they can remain anonymous or they can be brave and say who they are um the most important thing is i know who you are and you know who you are and you know what you asked me so i'm gonna go ahead and answer i apologize for the delay but i lost a truly dear friend and um i was unable to do my face to do a video vlog for you so um i didn't want to look like queen latifah and set it off um while answering these questions because some of these are kind of provocative questions so we'll start with the first one um he asked if he could get to know me a little bit better and I say, yeah, you know, it, it all starts with the social network. Um, in order for you to get my phone number, it has to be business or you have to just be a truly special person in my life. Um, and, you know, it, it's hard to, to, to find true people in your life. So you can get to know me by my Facebook, my Twitter, my YouTube, um, and have original conversation when you holler at me. And, because I, I do like to conversate, conversation rules nation, but if you're not talking about shit, I'm not going to speak either. So yeah, you could get to know me, have something original to say in my inbox, and we'll go back and forth, and then um, we'll, we'll map it out from there. <laughs> um, the next gentleman asked me, um, he said that I, I want to stay anonymous, um, remain anonymous. My first question is, have you ever had a threesome? Um, yeah, I have. Um, it was back in my heyday. Um, I was higher than Rick James, but, um, you know, it was two women and one guy, you know, um, the girl and I didn't do anything, but we did him. Um, sorry, mom, but true. Indeed. I, I, I can actually say I've had one, um, do sucking on your toes <clears throat> turn you on. Yeah, it does. I'm a Pisces. We're ruled by our feet. So, you know, that is, uh, just amazing um, um my very first ex elton young used to suck on my toes when we'd have sex so you know i was 4'11 he's a six foot so it actually worked out pretty well <laughs> um the third question is my favorite sexual position um i'd say froggy style because it gives you know me complete control um however it allows a man to see what they want to see which is the ass moving so you know slapping and all that is really accessible to him and um yeah that's my favorite position so we'll go on to the next question um and this gentleman had some <laughs> questions he said i want that FB after dark, Miss Ty. <laughs> so he evidently fucks with me. Um, laughing my ass off. Can I hear you moan? Mm, mm. And guys, you know you like to hear that if someone's doing that on your scrotum. Mm, mm. I'm pretty sure women will like that on their, you know, pearl. So I don't know. Um, I'm just kidding, like Jason, unless you're going to do it. Well, I did it, motherfucker. So I hope you liked it. Um, swear it is for research purposes only. You can leave that in my inbox. <laughs> Seriously, only two questions so far. Leaving out big names, who would you love to work with on a song? Um, leaving out big names. I, that's hard to answer because the big names to me are nobodies. You know, big names to me is um, like Rich and Rush, you know, the whole MFR family, um, you, you know, shit, um, Cut Calhoun, um, you know, just they're huge to me. And, and depending on where you're at in, in the world or what type of music you prefer, they may not be big to you. Um, however, to the people that care the most, you know, or that mean anything, um, they're they're huge so you know that that's who i would um love to work with um just a lot of pioneers kansas city pioneers period um kansas pioneers missouri pioneers so you know all the independent artists that are um cream of the crop the prime the pioneers of of kc rap is i would be just blown away just to work with them and that's who you know, I would love to. Chauncey Clyde, things of that nature. Um, so that's a good question. 
um, let me see, but I, I can't help but to say Dre, I, he's huge, and I, I, I think Miss Ty.com would just be off the fucking chain if I could get on a Dre beat. I wouldn't even be able to record. I would be crying the whole time. But um, the third one, what would it take for you to take some time and to get to know a guy? What catches your attention about him? Business. You know, because that's the only thing that... I hate money, but unfortunately money is the only thing that can get the things from my mother, brother, father, you know, sister, and son that... Um, that mean things to them you know if it was the straight barter system and we could do um, talent for talent then it would be different but um, unfortunately business is what attracts me to a man when he can teach me something that I didn't learn in school you know that is just crazy when he really wants to help me and better myself by putting funds in my pocket so you know um, and then getting to know him after that is even greater so that's that question. Then we're going to go to the next gentleman. He wants to know um, if I had a chance to be with you, would you be my woman? Well, um, anything's possible is all I can say about that. Anything's possible. And if you had the chance to do things right, shit anything's possible so you know but it all starts with being friends because I you know I, I don't deal with strangers and I'm a very complex person so shit if you could even handle me is a question uh, that you should be asking can I handle Miss Ty because Talia is a trip I don't know if you could deal with her you like Miss Ty but if you know Talia or Talia Taya whatever you want to call me mm -mm. so we'll see um, the next question is, um, do you think we will be a good couple? Yeah, you know, if you were to make the cut, then, you know, you would have been chosen. And so, you know, I don't choose losers. So, I think so. You know, as long as you do what I say. <laughs> um, and then, what about me do you like the most? I like your loyalty. You know, how I post things up on different um, pages and Facebook and things of that nature and you're there I see your picture and I see your name you know it's about brand recognition and you've been posting you know you've been on my post for you know months now and um, I recognize that and I appreciate that you know that means more than any type of inbox saying how pretty this is how pretty that is you're consistent with um, being there to support me and I appreciate that sweetie that's a good first way that's a good initial way of getting to the other two questions you asked so um, next question um, how has life been treating me how has the world been treating me um, I'll be real one out of three Americans has got me fucked up but um, it is what it is they learn when I go from zero to 60 in three seconds, um, you know, I lost a close friend recently, so I don't know. I, I know it's part of life, but the world's been okay. It's just everything else. <laughs> um, next question. Some of them I have to just ignore because it's repetitive shit. Um... So when is the video coming out? It's coming out now, boo. It's coming out now. Um, would you ever go out with a big dude, especially if you know how to treat a woman? Yeah, the bigger you are, the better. Um, I've had a few skinny men in my days. The Tupac in the Juice movie, kind of skinny. Throw them over the the edge skinny um but the big football tackle me let's blitz type shit turns me on because i'm thick and i'm just short as fuck so i love your size i think it's sexy um 
just as long as you know how to move around and be mobile in that size. You know, if you're uncomfortable, it makes me uncomfortable looking at you. But, um, yeah, you have two more questions. And so, have you ever had a threesome? Um, I've already answered that. And, yeah, I have. I blew his back out. <laughs> um, would I do a long-distance relationship? Yeah. Um, my ideal man, when I settle down, will have that. We'll have two busy, chaotic lives that unite to make something great. You know, to, to be able to leave a legacy to our offspring. And um, that's only going to be able to work if we're able to have a long distance relationship. You know, I've had relationships fail on me and they're right in my damn face. So the, the distance, as a matter of fact, is that makes you miss each other more. So I don't mind. And I know you're in Texas. That's not far. You know, I got plenty of people down in Texas. Shit, it can be an eight hour drive, a 12 one, a 14 hour drive. It don't matter. I can get on through there. Um, the next one, and will be my last one for the day. I don't want to make it too long, um, but we'll do another one next week, okay? So the last ones I'm going to answer is, um, the first one he said is, <laughs> so will we ever get to make to collab and make a song together? Yes, we will. Um, I really liked your performance last night. I was cracking up because you were into it like you were in the studio, you know, just, and I like that. You have to play the role. Um, yeah, so we're, we're definitely going to do that. And how did I get so thick? Well, um, growing up, I did ballet and I drank two uh, gallons of milk every day. Um, so, you know, bones and your legs get really huge. Um, your bones get really strong from that. And then, you know, from doing ballet and my mom always kept me in some kind of, um, body art, some gymnastics or tap dancing, you use your legs a lot. So always from that. Um, and then when I stopped smoking Newports in 09 and went from a size nine to a size 15, shit there goes that right there um but you know lately i've been for the last three four years i've been working out and so things are finally sculpting the way i want them to so that's where the thickness you see comes from now from all the fat that i've lost in certain areas of the state so um and the last question is am i mixed um and if so with what yeah i mix the fuck up um my mother is um native american which would be Creek and Blackfoot, and Creole and Irish. Um, my mother is a true mixed breed. So she is, and then my father, um, he he has some form of Creole in him, um, but, you know, that's about it. So I'm a true formed, um, I'm a true example of a mixed breed. So that's what I am. I do appreciate the... Um, I'm mistaken for Hispanic or Asian all the time, and that is just great. Even Ethiopian, um, great. It's just a I, such a compliment because I'm neither. I am um, Native American, Irish, and Creole. So, hey. But um, it's MissTai.com, and I'm going to let you go. Um, I want to thank you all for tuning in for this, and um, go ahead and put some more questions in my inbox. That way we can do another show next week. Out.